number one Iron Age booty daddy. Big money in small creators. Wait, crap. I think that's an OnlyFans. Some people gotta have it. They'll do bad things with it. My bad jokes aside, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. I am absolutely excited to talk about this tonight. You see Razorfish just closed up his Ghost in the Badlands campaign. I think it's called Ghost in the Badlands. If it's not called that, roast me down in the chat. Okay, other things on the brain. It's fine. Roast me in the chat. If you guys like what I'm doing here, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and ring the notification bell. Apparently, even though there are many of you who watch the show, there's only 12% of you guys who are actually ringing the notification bell to let yourselves know that I'm posting videos almost every day. So, Razor Fist closed up his new campaign at almost, and I say almost, $350,000. Now, that is absolutely massive for what he thought was going to be. Now, I want to touch base on the money that is flowing into smaller creators. And what do I mean by smaller creators? I mean guys that are owned by massive multinational corporations or even just ma national publicly traded corporations, right? Guys that have started their own YouTube channels, guys that are writing their own books, and ultimately people who are looking to create their own stories and get away from a lot of the political nonsensical nature of the modern day media. So Razor Fist, and I touched a little bit on this in my Eric July video from yesterday, so go and check that out. That was the announcement video for Chuck Dixon. But Razorfish closed at almost $350 million. Eric July, this last year, closed at almost three, uh, he closed over $3.7 million. Other small creators out there, such as Drunk 3PO, he's closed in, I believe he closed in over $100,000. Not quite sure. I believe it was over $100,000. And then my good friend, Richard from IronAge.media, he closed in over $20,000. And I want to comment on the amount of money that is coming into independent creators, independent creations. This right here is proof that one, people are willing to support small creators, and two, we don't need the big guys, okay? In addition to that, you see all of the backlash to what Bud Light did, and admittedly, I've had my fair share of Bud Light, so mock me down in the comments below. I've had my fair share of Bud Light in my day. But with what Bud Light did, with what Target is doing, with what Miller Light is doing, with what all these different companies are doing, people are saying enough is enough. We're tired of it. And all you have to do is take money that you're already spending over here and move it to somewhere that you believe in over here. So with the massive amount of money that's flowing into the indie comic space or the just the indie creator space, the indie novel space, there are animators, there are people producing movies right now. This is something that I find highly motivating to me. This tells me, looking at these massive numbers that people are throwing up, when guys are having goals that are like, hey, can you, like a thousand bucks, right? Like, hey, you know, a thousand bucks, two thousand bucks, that would be, and they're funding in like six hours. Okay, guys who have goals of like, well, you know, to do this and print the way that we want to and to pay an artist, we need like 10 grand and they're funding almost immediately for some of the bigger guys with larger audiences. This tells me that we are taking our money and we're putting it somewhere else. And I wanted to comment on the overall place that I think this takes us as a culture, as fans of just good storytelling and overall what we can hope to see in the future. You see, what I hope to see from this is the absolute decimation. That's not a good word because that literally means to reduce by 10. The absolute obliteration, metaphorically speaking, in Minecraft, of DC and Marvel, of these major corporately owned structures that are putting out storytelling. What I'm hoping to see here is that with the internet being the internet, and God, I hope they can't put Pandora back in the box or they... You understand what I meant there, okay? It's, it's, you get the reference, but I hope they cannot close Pandora's box on the internet because the internet has given us a certain amount of decentralization that I believe is 
highly important and critically necessary to the future of a free people trading money and ultimately purchasing and maintaining their purchasing power through the future. Okay, Seeing the massive amounts of money that are being generated and put towards all of these various different projects, these various uh, different ideas, and just the support that's being thrown behind many different voices is definitely an uplifting thing to see. I definitely didn't think that Razor Fist was going to hit 350 grand. I certainly didn't believe Eric July was going to hit 3.7 million. And honestly, everybody else out there who's beating their goals, I always usually expect you guys to hit double your goal, but you guys are clearing those hurdles in mass. And I hope you all notice what's happening here. You're all giving something to the consumer that they want and that they are craving. And people are now no longer giving Marvel and DC money. Not everybody, but enough. And they're giving you creators out there money. So congratulations to everybody out there who has funded this year, who has funded in the last year, and who is starting to see the absolute mass of people that are showing up to support guys like me, and guys like you, and gals like you. So thank you all so much for being here on A Drink With Crazy. And if you guys like this video and you guys like the subject matter of this video, you want to comment down below. I read all of your comments every single Sunday on a live stream that I call Sunday Coffee. That's right, I get the coffee out. It's 11 a.m. Central on Sunday. And we sip coffee and I read your comments. And sometimes I read your comments. Bad. Most of the time I read your comments badly. But it would be wonderful for you guys to comment down below and then tune in on Sundays to see my reaction, to hear my thoughts on what you're saying. Sometimes they're short, sometimes they're long. And if you decide to come in and roast me, maybe you're right. Maybe you're not. Maybe I roast you. But ultimately, if you're there, I absolutely believe the more, the merrier. Because to be perfectly honest, I just got done doing a whole video about it. Guys, the more, the merrier. The more people you turn on, to these indie creators, the more money we can take away from these corporate-owned hacks, the closer we're going to get to storytelling. And until next time... Oh, sh hold on. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Whew, almost screwed that one up. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my adrinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.